Hey pretty people, welcome back to the channel. It's Emily and I hope you guys are in store for another Lego store shopping vlog. I cannot wait to go inside because a little bird told me that they just got some really, really good pieces on the pad wall. Like I am not exaggerating. I'm usually pretty excited about pick a brick pieces, but we're talking masonry bricks and trans blue tiles. Like this is not a drill. This is a huge deal. I hope they still have them. The last time I heard about this was like Saturday, I believe. And we were really busy this weekend. So we didn't have any time to come down here and shop. So I'm really like scared that they ran out, but we're just gonna head inside. We're gonna see what they have. Fingers crossed for me guys, masonry bricks and trans blue tiles are literally my favorite Lego pieces. So I really hope they have them. But they also supposedly have some brand new selections for to build a minifigure. So I really hope that's the case. I haven't actually seen that, but I heard that somewhere. But also, also y'all, the Republic fighter tank that has been out of stock pretty much everywhere since the first day it came out. Our Lego store here only got eight of that set. And that was on release day. I was here, I was like third in line. So I was able to get one, but they were completely sold out by May 1st. So I really hope that they have some more in stock. I guess we'll just have to go in and see for ourselves. Also, my iced coffee is no longer iced. It is melted down. Pretty bummed about it. Oh, by the way, y'all, before we head in, something really important. If you enjoy shopping vlogs, Lego City content, or live streams, then this is the place for you. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty, let's do it. We just got into the mall and there's the Lego store. I feel like I'll be at the Lego store very often over the next few weeks, especially with the June 1st releases. Transformers, I cannot wait for that set. Let me know in the comments, like, are you guys gonna pick that one up? I definitely am. It like actually transforms, it's a cool set. Anyways, right, so I just got to the front of the Lego store and let's check out these displays real quick. We have the Rabbit Ranch, just some Minecraft stuff. I don't really know much about Minecraft, but there it is. We also have some space stuff over here, the city launch center. That one looks really nice and all of these trans blue pieces do look really cool. Like I said earlier, trans blue pieces are like actually my favorite. So I really hope that they have some more of those tiles on the wall today. Over on this side here, we have a giant Lego Star Wars display. Here we have Luke's land speeder down here. I really enjoyed building this set. We actually just finished it finally. One of the engines wasn't done yet, but we just did that. It looks so good. I can't wait to find a good spot to display it. I might let Ross put it in his Lego Star Wars room, but we'll see. And then over here, we have the three Lego Star Wars dioramas. I really like the trench run. It looks kind of busy though. It's kind of hard to see everything that's going on, but it does look accurate. All that greebling is really well done. We have the trash compactor. This is probably my least favorite out of them, but the figure choice is fantastic. These would look really nice on display, but it's just not something I want to spend my money on right now. Now. And then the Dagobah diorama. This one's definitely my favorite. It's just such a beautiful scene and it would be kind of cool to have something like this in the Lego city and create like a swamp Dagobah kind of thing going on. Let me know if you guys want to see that at some point. And here we have the Back to the Future DeLorean with the two figures out front. This was such a fun build and I have it displayed right behind me. I really enjoyed that one. As well as the three different helmets. They're really hard to see with this glare, but there they are. Two really good gift with purchases going on right now. We have that amusement park set. It has two minifigures in it. There's that really cute little swing ride going on. And then another amusement park thing where you just kind of hit it hard. And then the Cosmic Cardboard Adventures. This one is really cute. It really brings out the imagination. It has all these really awesome little details, plus a little spot for his cat in the back. Very adorable. Let's head into the Lego store. I wanted to check out the pick a brick wall first. So let's just see what they have. It looks like right off the bat, there's this brand new piece here. I mean, it's new for the wall, not new in general. It's like a little window pane. They had windows for a while, but without window pane. So that's really nice to see. They also have these reddish brown snot pieces. I love this color. Like that would be really nice to add to like brick walls or that kind of thing. We have some red masonry bricks in that same color. So like maybe we might try to get some of those today. There's also these green pieces that are really nice for like more forest texture. Oh, as well as these highlighter yellow pieces. I still haven't used these for anything at all. I got a bunch of them last time, like a full cup. Maybe I'll find a good use eventually. And then these are really nice too. These two by two plates with studs only on one half of it. Those are just really useful for furniture and something like that, but I don't know if I need those today. There's these purple pieces that are really nice. This is like the Lego Scooby-Doo official like purple color. Color of the whole mystery mansion. So like I could maybe use these for something, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. We've also got a similar red color to what we saw over there, but these are like, these are weird as well. I think it's that same actual piece as these purple ones, but I just have no idea what I would do with these. Again, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. There's also quite a lot of smaller sized bricks. We have these one by two, one by one, one by two green, and then a lot of larger ones along the bottom. They always have the bigger pieces along the bottom just because it's a choking hazard. Yeah, here we have some tin two by eight. That would be kind of useful for like a beach or something like that. Some blue ones as well. These gold ones. I see these a lot in like Disney Princess and Friends, but those are really fun elements. And they also have these yellow slopes. These are kind 
kind of nice. I don't know what I would need to do with these. Like, unless if I was building like a cheese world or something, like I have no idea what I would do with these pieces, but I love slopes. So give me some ideas in the comments. These are the pieces I am most drawn to. I think this is like, oh gosh, I don't think it's light bluish gray. It's not dark bluish gray. It's like a bluish color. Is it sand blue? It might be sand blue. I'm not sure, but they have so many one by twos here. This would be perfect for buildings. I don't know. Like this is just perfect. Like even if we ever do a Star Wars world ever, I would need so many of these pieces, so I'm really thinking about getting some of these as well. Check this out, so it's a Lego passport for the Lego store. It's blue, apparently in different places in the world, there are different colors. But then on the inside, we have this Lego minifigure head. There's some stickers that go with it, so you can decorate it to make it look like yourself. You put all of your name and information there to make it look like a real passport. And then today I got my first stamp in it. Look at that, Austin, Texas. At every Lego store, they have a different stamp. And I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get this sooner because I've been to so many Lego stores at this point, but now I can just start filling it up from here. Now for the actual Lego, I feel like I just fangirled over to Pab Wall for like the last 10 minutes. Anyways, check out these Lightyear sets. This is the Duplo one. Wait, I haven't seen this one yet. Obviously, I am not into Duplo. Okay, fine. Maybe I did buy those bath time fun toys. The flamingo was just too cute to pass up on. But this is really adorable. Like, obviously, I don't need it, but it is really cute. And then here's all the other Lightyear sets on display. I still have not built Zerg, but I really need too soon. The minifigs are great. I'm really looking forward to it. Luckily, they are fully stocked because the movie is coming out soon. I think that they're going to run out of everything. I think it's going to be really popular. So just throwing that out there. If you are interested in Lightyear, you should probably get it now. We've got the Disney castle. This is going to retire soon and I am so sad about it. I don't know what they're going to replace it with or if they're even going to replace it with anything. It's just so iconic. But I do have two in my collection right now, so I'm good to go. I actually have this Dots message board and I love that they wrote Pizza Time on theirs. Mine just says Dog Mom, but Pizza Time's a little bit more fun. Over in Friends World, they have the canal houseboat here. This is just one of my favorite friend sets. It is just stunning. I really want to be able to include it in my Lego city in some way, but it's just so big and we don't really have an ocean yet, so I have no idea where it will go. And then we have the food trucks and the Main Street buildings. These are both fantastic and the new Friends Wave is almost as good, maybe just as good. It has so many nice sets in it. The theater is perfect for the Muppets minifigs, so definitely get your hands on that. There's a lot of really good opportunities for mocks. And then Thor's Hammer. I really want to get this event Eventually, I'm not like thrilled about the build process on this one, but just having that on display would be so cool. I have heard that at Target, it is on sale. So just throwing that out there, I think it's $70 at some Targets based on what I heard. I'm not actually sure, but that's a really good deal. Oh, and then the goat boat as well here. I built this one, I already have it and I loved it. Plus the little goats, like their faces are just so ridiculous. I love that those are actually printed elements too. That is fantastic. But this is showing up at Costco as well. I don't know what the price is on it, but I'm definitely going to Costco later this week to see what they've got. And then the very famous butthole tiger up here, or rather the majestic tiger, sorry. I want to pick this up so badly, it's $50. I don't need it though, you know, but eventually I am gonna get this. Maybe once it's on sale, I can see this going on sale at some point. And then all of these Harry Potter sets. I've seen so many reviews about the new wave coming soon and I am so excited for them. The Ministry of Magic is probably my favorite, but all of the buildings just look so good and I can see a lot of really great uses to include them in the Lego city. And then over in Star Wars World, they have a lot of really great sets in stock right now. Here's the Star Destroyer. We have not picked this one up yet. I really wanted to get it on May to fourth, but it didn't qualify for double points, so I'm just gonna hold off for now. Most nicely, we got this last made of fourth and still haven't built it, so shame on us, right? And then R2D2, we also got this last made of fourth. We've done a lot of Lego shopping last year. And then they also have Luke's Land Speeder and the ATAT. It's missing dots though, just saying it looks better with dots. I'm actually kind of surprised to see the Millennium Falcon here. This one's usually sold out, so that is really nice to have it. It's obviously just like a display box. The set itself is really heavy, so I assume they have a bunch of them in the back. Something I unfortunately don't see today is the Republic fighter tank. I mean, I see it here, but it is out of stock, which is a total bummer. Hopefully they get some more in stock soon, maybe by June 1st, so we can pick them up on that release day. Oh, and then check this out. They have the free gift of purchase, the Cosmic Cardboard Adventures. It's available with purchases over $160. The Lego Ideas set. It's a really quick little build, but it's just such a nice little diorama, and I really hope that Lego makes more like this in the future. They're just really cute. And then on the other side, they have the other gift with purchase. This is the Amusement Park set. It's also really cute. Lego and Landed sent this one for review as well. I built this during a live stream. It's a really cute little build, but the Cosmic Cardboard Adventures is a little bit better, I think. Plus, this one's only with purchase over 90, whereas the other one's with purchase over 160. So, definitely like the other one better, but that little monkey on top is so cute. And then another one out of stock, unfortunately, are the Muppets. I love these minifigures. These two in the front here are my favorites, Miss Piggy and Kermit. Again, with the new Lego Friends Theater, these would be perfect. I'm gonna put the two old guys in one of the balconies, put these guys in the different balcony, 
and it'll be like this little Muppets show. I'm really excited. And then right in the front on this display, they do have Olivia Space Academy. The NASA rocket for this is a great build. It's probably one of the better ones I've seen actually. And all of the different elements in here, the planets on those golden rope type things are really nice. I wanna pick this up, but I'm just not sure what I would do with it. And then here we have all the different Jurassic World sets. I am so excited for the movie. I think it's gonna be really good. The trailers look crazy. But yeah, for all the dinos here, they look really scary, but also so detailed. Like I have no idea how they molded all of these different colors in here. I'm just really excited Jeff Goldblum is coming back for it. He's one of my favorites. Okay, wait, so I feel like I haven't seen the orchid built yet in person and these look so good. Can y'all see these? These are gorgeous. We actually have both of these already, the orchid and the succulents, but we haven't built either of them. Now I actually wanna head straight home and build these. These look so nice, like those pops of pink, all these different cacti going on here. Being in Texas, like this is so relatable. So yeah, these are incredible. They don't have them in stock anymore, I don't think. Neither of them, actually. They only have the Bird of Paradise and the Flower Bouquet, as well as the Roses, but hopefully they get them back soon. And then this one I haven't seen in store for a very long time, the Discovery Shuttle. I never got this one. I just passed up on it. I didn't need it. But yeah, overall, it looks like they're very fully stocked with all these different creator expert sets. These are my favorites, and it's really neat kind of seeing the Lego store transform into like all of these black boxes. It used to be so colorful, but I really like how the black boxes look. Also still really need to build this set here, the Jurassic Park one. It looks so good. Medieval Blacksmith here. One of the new friends that's coming out, I believe it's called the Organic Farm. Looks very similar to this, but like a budget version of it. It has nice little horse stables and then a cottage that looks very similar to this. So I'm really excited to build it. I haven't built it yet, but they do look very similar. Sets look really scary. Now I think I'm gonna start stacking my cup. There's a few pieces in particular that I'm most excited about. These trans blue cone pieces would be perfect for little accents in the Lego City. So I'm definitely getting a few of these. And in these, I believe that they're sand blue one by two bricks would be perfect as well. They're just a very neutral color and that's kind of hard to find. And of course I'm gonna get a few of these trans snots as well. Okay, and I might have gone a little bit overboard with these trans blue pieces, but they're just so cool. I think I might have to go get another pav cup so I can get some of these pieces as well. All right, so I just filled up both of my pav cups. They're over by the register. They didn't have the Republic fighter tank, which is such a bummer. But again, hopefully I can pick up a few more of those on June 1st. Anyways, I guess let's go head out. All right, so I just checked out. I have my Lego. I'll show you everything I got in the car. It was mostly just new pieces, like I said. They did not have the Republic fighter tank in stock, which is kind of a bummer, but I can just get it on June 1st since I do have it then. It's such a good set so I do want a few more of them plus the clone troopers are fantastic. I was talking to some of the store employees about the new Transformers set and everyone seems so excited for that one. I just can't believe that it actually transforms like that's the coolest thing ever and you don't have to take it apart or anything it just like it works and I was not expecting that to be the case so yeah let me know in the comments below are you guys going to pick that one up? I will definitely be at the Lego store on June 1st for that one. Back into the Texas heat. Okay so we're back in the car now and let me show you everything that I got today. Tons of really great pieces in here y'all I promise but first I need to show you more about this passport thing my mind is actually blown by this I did not know that this was even a thing that they did at my Lego store so here they are we got two passports only one of them is stamped though I told them that Ross needed to earn his stamp I actually came in person and got my passport so next time he's here he's gonna have to come and bring his passport now too <laughs> sorry Ross fair is fair so yeah Ross's passport does not have a stamp <laughs> I feel a little bad, I'm sorry, Ross. But mine does, Austin, Texas. I'm sure we'll be back soon, you know? Like, we'll be back on June 1st, so he can get a stamp then. But I just think this is the coolest thing, and I didn't even know that our Lego stores did this. I had obviously seen a lot of my friends with these as well, like, a lot of my friends are into Lego, obviously. But this is just such a fun little keepsake and something to do whenever we travel. We are going to Brickworld, Chicago, by the way, so I hope to see y'all there. So if there's a Lego store in town, I'm gonna try to stamp it there. And really, whenever we travel, I'll just get more stamps and fill it up. But there were also these sticker sheets that they gave out too and it has all these different like hair colors different accessories so you can make your minifigure picture and your passport look like you <laughs> i'm really excited to decorate mine i think that'll be a lot of fun all right so now it's time for the haul i did not qualify for any gift with purchases today which is kind of a bummer but also i do have them already so can't complain right first pop cup here we have a bunch of these sand blue one by two bricks I don't know what I want to do with these yet. I got them because it's just such a neutral color. Sand blue, sand green, sand red. Like those are literally my favorite Lego colors besides the trans blues. Those are better. Argue with me in the comments. So that being said, if you do have any ideas on how to use these pieces, please let me know. Like I just, I have no idea. I just love this color. I thought they're pretty. And worst case, they'll just be beautiful in a pab cup forever. 
next cup, oh, this is the complex cup. So on the bottom here, we have all of these clear snot pieces. I don't really know what to do with these. I also got a handful of these gray shield tiles. I don't know what to do with those either, but they're kind of neat. And then I could not resist these trans blue circle things. I don't know the correct name for these, but I got a lot of them. I really have no clue what to do with these either, but I saw them and I went for it. I have no impulse control. So that's how we ended up here. And then obviously I didn't think this through too much. So I didn't know what to fill on the top part. So I just got more clear ones. Oh, and then the real impulse control y'all. I didn't even see these initially during our first walkthrough. So this is a total surprise for y'all. But look at these green pieces here. So it's like the inverted slopes. And this is my favorite green to use in the city, in the forest. So I got a bunch of them, especially for Mario World, just building up this giant green wall. It's really hard to make it look good with only a few different types of pieces so I really like these inverted slopes to mix it up a little bit alrighty everyone well thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I had a blast at the Lego store today like it was so much fun just catching up with all the different employees there they're all so sweet I'm really excited to start on my Lego passport adventure just filling these in with different stamps through time like I think that'll be a lot of fun especially when we do travel in the future you know like the world is starting to open up again so I am really looking forward to this if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give me a thumbs up and do consider hitting that giant red subscribe button down below I would really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.